So I've been seeing a lot of talk online about these toroidal propellers and how they're supposed to have an improved efficiency of a regular propeller. So in today's video, I wanted to perform a numerical analysis on a toroidal propeller and uh, see how the numbers actually shake out. So in this video, I create three separate propellers in OpenVSP, a four blade, a two blade, and our toroidal propeller. Since the videos from MIT talk about using these toroidal propellers on drones, I focused on analysis of a five inch diameter propeller. Since this is a low Reynolds number application, I somewhat eyeballed the airfoil to just have some camber and wasn't too exact about that. I gave it a moderate twist distribution. I looked at some airfoils online and uh, chose my twist distribution based on that. For the sweep of the toroidal propeller, I again just eyeballed it looking at the images from MIT online. So there might be some errors there. However, I did use the same cord and the same twist distribution for all three propellers. For this analysis, I'm gonna use a software called Flightstream. Uh, this is a surface vorticity panel method solver. The next thing I needed to do was create some Python scripts to automate my workflow. Once I set up the cases and set up my scripts, I just let the code run. Here we see the wake filaments emanating from the propeller. Flightstream is able to capture both the rotational and the induced velocities produced by the propeller. I ran the exact same case setup for each of the propellers. Here we see the four blade propeller. The toroidal propeller has four blades, so I think this is gonna be the closest match. And finally, we see a pretty cool analysis of the toroidal propeller. It's cool to see how the wake filaments come off of the trailing edge. And finally, after all runs are complete, I can look at the thrust versus power curves. First, we see that the power curves generated by the toroidal propeller and the four blade are most similar. This means comparison to a two blade is probably the wrong comparison. And next, for a given power setting, we get less thrust out of the toroidal propeller. This means it's less efficient. So there you have it. That's my analysis on the toroidal propeller. Now, this doesn't mean the toroidal propeller doesn't work. It just means it didn't work for me or in this specific case. So if you think there's something I can improve in this analysis, please let me know in the comments below.